What's up guys and welcome back to another video and I wanted to make this quick video because this image was released um, or kind of leaked as you will. Um, I was just going through some season 11 possibilities and just to see if I could find anything and I definitely found something that might be something of a once it concerned, but something that we need to look at together. We're going to take a look at this. This is going to be for season 11 for, for the next season, um, which is in 12 days. So guys, we're going to sit down and take a look. So pull up a seat, get some popcorn, and we're going to take a look. So guys, we recently talked about the possibility of season 11 leaks of the images that we see right here. These were the, the images that we were possibly looking at that there are gonna be the new battle passes. Some people think that the Red Hood or the Final Reckoning guy, um, what I, which I thought would be the Reckoning or which would be the Grim Reaper. I still think it's gonna be the Grim Reaper, but I did have somebody possibly com uh, comment that it might be the Red Hood, which definitely be, would be really cool because Red Hood is in Batman and Batman is out right now. Um, who knows, that would def definitely be something cool to add to the story if it would be Red Hood. Um, but I still think it's going to be the Grim Reaper just because of the, how he looks. He's got skeleton bones on him. Uh, I know the Red Hood has like a, um, I have the, the pop itself, but he's got a tan jacket with a um, red, but or not butterfly, but a red um, bat symbol. But um, still I think this is going to be the Halloween theme since these characters do look creepy and sinister and, and scary. So it's going to be for season 11. But with season 11 coming as well, we possibly might have a new map. Finally, the, the, the gods of Epic have heard our prayers that we've been asking for a new map for almost the past two years. And why do I think this? Well, we're going to take a look at this image right now. This image. It's some of the characters, two defaults, Drift skin and the bright bomber looking at the battle bus and also the skull trooper looking at the battle bus going off into the sunset off the island. This could mean a few things. Could this mean that they're just saying goodbye to the battle bus after they've been dropped and ready for battle? Does this mean possibly there might be a new map coming our way and that the battle bus battle bus is going to a different area slash new map? Or is this just in generally uh, telling us that Fortnite is done? Say goodbye. Um, we're done. We're gonna sh we're gonna shut down the servers and Fortnite's done. I doubt that Fortnite's gonna be done. Epic is making so much money as it is on cosmetic skins and battle passes. I don't see them not doing or not having Fortnite anymore. And only after two years, I, I doubt that. So I definitely don't think that's going to happen. I don't think this image is just saying, hey guys, I just dropped you guys off. Welcome to the battlefield. Go kill each other. And we'll see you guys later. And the battle boss is going to the distance. I kind of see this as, bye guys, we're going to a new chapter. And this is how the battle boss is leaving. Um, I definitely saw that somebody said that um, it could be possibly a new the type of delivery that's going to send us off the map instead of having a battle bus it's going to be something else that drops us i don't see that happen because the battle bus is very iconic where if you see this battle bus you know it's fortnite so i see this being that fortnite the battle bus is going to a new area a new chapter a new section of fortnite and this is where it's going to go um, i'm going to shrink this image here just looking at this image it it definitely makes me sad and definitely excited because this could mean a few things, um, like I said before, but I think 95% that this is going to be a new map. And why do I think so? Pretty much the map right now is in such disarray, destruction. Um, Loot Lake has been exploded and, in, and frozen in time. Um, there is from when the, the monster was around it pretty much leveled a whole bunch of areas when it was fighting and when it went, came out of polar peak polar peak is completely destroyed almost there's snobby shores there's buildings that are destroyed pleasant park there's just uh buildings destroyed there's buildings destroyed over by um uh, loot or not loot lake but um lazy lagoon that building that's up on the top of the cliff that was smushed by the monster 
I mean, all the rift zones right now are completely in, I wouldn't say disarray, but they're completely glitched to the point where they're in different time zones and multiverses and the map is just completely confused and and there's a lot of locations that we love and we definitely have loved and liked to see back like Dusty Divot but I think a lot of us that are in the Fortnite community that have been playing this game since it's been out which has been pretty much two two almost two and a half years or not two and a half years but two years pretty much we want to see a new map. We want to see a ref I won't say a refresh, but we want to see new things coming to Fortnite. Yes, we had the future of Fortnite, but having a new map would definitely I won't say revamp, but definitely give us a whole nother want to play this game. We've definitely seen a decline, um, not a severe decline in Fortnite, but there is a, uh, a decline in Fortnite to have epic notice. That they need to do something to step up their game. With that being said, possibility of a new map. This image kind of supports that pretty much right there. Also, we know that the Epic is not going to be completely done because we have these images right here. Obviously, this is going to show us that on starting October 7th, which is the next season's uh, start date, that it's going to have a Halloween, scary, freaky, creepy kind of theme. So we obviously know that Epic's is not done. So with that being said, a new map would be also a sweet way to... Kind of after Season 10, we've... we've I wouldn't say it's been a decade, but it's been a num numeral 10. So after 10, maybe their number 11 is going to be a new map. And after possibly 21 seasons... We'll have another map. Who knows? I don't know if it's going to last that long, but who knows? This is my prediction that we are finally going to get a new map. Um, another point is that pretty much where the robot used to be is completely unused. It's uninhabited. It's not needed. And we really don't know what's going to happen with that area. Also, I was playing um, Fortnite yesterday and found another rift beacon between Pleasant Park and and Junk Junction slash Haunted Hills. We don't know what quite what this is going to be, but usually when it's there, Tuesday is when it turns on, and usually between Tuesday and Thursday is when we get the new zone. So what's going to be coming in that area? I have no, no freaking clue, to be honest with you. Um, I guess we'll find out within the next couple days, but there is a reef, reef beacon. You go over by between Pleasant Park and Junk Junction, and kitty corner to haunted hills you'll see a rift beacon right in that little area where that movie set is and that one little race track area over in that area that's where it's going to be um so definitely take a look at that rift beacon also speaking of the rocket we're definitely going to be coming to an event here soon the rocket is being almost built it's huge it's humongous seems like it's bigger than it was before also if you look on the bottom where the jets are or the the exhaust or where the the rocket will explode and blast off it looks like a roof beacon is sitting right there don't know what that means but obviously when in, in the next 12 days because we're at the 23rd right now in the next 12 days we're going to get an, an event we don't actually have a countdown yet but there's probably going to be a countdown because with every rocket you need to have a countdown you can't have a countdown without a rock or without not having a, or with a rocket you can't just have no countdown so obviously we're going to be getting countdown here soon if it's going to be three days, five days, ten days, who knows. But make sure you guys watch the TV screens. Make sure you watch the screens at Dusty D Depot because something's going to be happening here in the next 12 days. Make sure also if you guys do find out any information about possibility of the rocket launching off or any leaks that you might see, make sure you guys follow my Twitter. Make sure you, or make sure you guys message me on Twitter. Make sure you message me on YouTube down in the comments. You can do that as well. Um, just let me know. I also, you can guys message me on Facebook at, at the Zwoki as well, because that definitely will let me help find out more information about um, these leaks and so forth. And I'm sitting on these this, this computer, literally looking for leaks and and information and stuff for you guys to bring to you guys, so you guys don't have to do the dirty work. I find the dirty work and bring it to you, and I bring it in kind of a com, com or comedic kind of way, um, not comedic kind of way, but I'm just trying to tell you 
the information. So make sure you guys let me know down below or Twitter or Facebook or what have you. And speaking of letting me know, make sure you guys like and comment the video and share so I can get my videos out there. My video of season 11 has almost hit a thousand or viewers. So that means there's a thousand people or roughly 500 people that have not subscribed yet. So if you have not subscribed and you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe by hitting that red bar icon and hit the bell icon. Because when you guys are here, you're gonna get tons of fun stuff from um, Rainbow Six to Fortnite to Funko Pops to reviews on products like the Iron Man helmet with the Punisher and the Nano Armor or Nano Gauntlet and then f Try Not to Laugh challenges which is coming soon. Trailer reactions. You guys are not going to be bored when you guys are here. Also, you're going to get montages from Fortnite to Rainbow Six. I'm also doing things for Modern Warfare. I just played the beta so I'm going to be bringing that video out there here soon. So there's going to be tons of stuff. And also speaking of Fortnite, and if you guys have not already, with buying skins, make sure you guys use code Zawoki. All you gotta do is go to the item shop, type in Zawoki, and do this every 14 days, because this helps out the channel in buying new equipment, doing bigger giveaways, so I can give back to my community for the people that have supported me, my fans, my views, my bros, my... Not hoes, but um, you know <laughs> the drift. Um, everybody that's supported me, I thank you guys very enough. Um, that have subscribed to me. You guys are awesome. I can't believe I'm almost to a thousand. I've just reached over the 500 mark, but let's get there by hitting that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so you guys never miss a video. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been awesome. It's been real. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think about season 11, if it's going to be a new map, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.